Blues fans, you made it. So glad you're here. Welcome to another episode of This Week in the Blues. A look at blues history one week at a time. I'm your host, Jimbo Big Train Manson with Big Train and the Locomotives. So let's take a look at what happened this week in blues history. Blues legend Blind Lemon Jefferson was born on September 24th in 1893. He was one of the most popular blues singers in the 1920s and has been called the father of Texas blues. Jefferson was to Texas blues what Charlie Patton was to Mississippi blues. His performances had a direct influence on such legendary Texas musicians as Lightning Hopkins, T-Bone Walker, and Lead Belly, while his recordings helped bring his influence to an even larger audience. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame selected Jefferson's Matchbox Blues as one of the 500 songs that shaped rock and roll. Jefferson was in the inaugural class inducted into the Blues Hall of Fame in 1980. Blues singer and guitarist Robert Chick Willis was born September 24th in 1934 and is the cousin of blues artist Chuck Willis. Chick made his vinyl debut in 1956 with a single, Your Mine, after winning a talent contest in Atlanta's Magnolia Ballroom. He's primarily remembered for his ripe-balled, dozens-based track, Stoop Down Baby. He cut the original version in 1972, selling a ton of 45s for the jukebox market, only because the tune's lyrics were too raunchy for airplay. He released a steady stream of albums in the 1980s and 1990s, and continued to record into the 2000s. Tar Heel Slim was born September 24th in 1923. His real name is Alan Bunn, and he recorded in virtually every post-war music genre imaginable. However, spirituals were Bunn's first love. While still in North Carolina during the 1940s, the guitarist worked for the Gospel Four and then the Sela Jubilee Singers. Bunn broke away in 1949 to form the Jubilators. During a single day in New York in 1950, they recorded for four different labels under four different names. One of those labels was Apollo, who convinced them to go secular. That's basically how the Larks, one of the seminal early rhythm and blues vocal groups, came to be. Blues singer and guitarist Rosalie Hemphill was born on September 25th in 1910 in Como, Mississippi, in the heart of the Delta. She shortened her last name to just Hill and played music that was in the tradition of North Mississippi. Her song, Bullion Well, which was recorded by Alan Lomax, has been included on a number of releases over the years. The daughter of country blues musician Sid Hemphill, Rosalie learned guitar from her father and by the time she was 10, was playing dances with him. Several of her songs were recorded by Alan Lomax in 1959, including Rolled and Tumbled, Hill and her husband were sharecroppers and lived in perpetual poverty. She is an aunt of blues singer Jessie Mae Hemphill. Mississippi juke legend Roosevelt Booba Barnes was born September 25th in 1936 in Longwood, Mississippi. He learned to play harmonica at the age of eight, playing juke joints by the age of 16, and a regular performer in the clubs on Greenville's famed Nelson Street. His nickname came from a brother who said that Roosevelt was worse than a booby trap. Well, blues fans, we just covered some of the highlights here. Now, if you want to know more about these artists or other things that happened this week in the blues, be sure to follow our social media pages or visit our website at bigtrainblues.com. We'll have a new episode next week. We'll see you then.